she said that this nigga don't even be coming home for days and weeks at a time. And bitch, you got a motherfucking nerve to act like you got a goddamn problem with me, with moi. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we not about to go there because I will scream on your ass. You hear me? I will give your ass the blues every time I fucking see you, bitch, because you're doing too much. There's nothing that you can say of why you have been gone that long, and then you gonna come back in my face and act like I'm starting shit with you. Like she said, girl, she told him, y'all, I don't even blame her for this. She told him one time it was August, she told him, go to your room. I said, wow, oh, like you a motherfucking child? Go to your room, girl. So then he gonna tell her, they be, and I knew that that was the truth when she said that, that she sent him to the room because he said, oh, you know what? Go to your hole. I said, ooh, like she a motherfucking rat or something? Oh, hell no. Like this is some bullshit. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Sassy Shantice. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, honey. Back with another one, girl. Y'all hear me? I am back with another video, honey. And yes, this episode was really good of Couples Retreat. This is the last day that the couples will be there. And they are trying to basically come up with a contract of what they need to do at home. So let's just get into the episode. Really good episode. So it starts off with um, Yandy Mendeecees and Michael in the pool. So Yandy is trying to teach um, Michael how to swim or something like that. And it's just looking funny. He's looking funny. He's looking helpless. It's like really cute, but like kind of like stupid because he has this like um, blue noodle type of thing that she stretches out to him um, in the pool while he's in the pool. And she wants him to basically come to her. She's not asking him to swim. She just wants him to come to her so that, you know, he can get over there to receive the other piece that she wants. So yeah, girl. So then he has these like dumb ass like floats on his arm, like orange, like some little ass kid. It's just like funny to watch because he do too much. But like, so he's over there and he's like trying to swim and he's kicking his feet under the water. He's not even swimming, girl. And Yandy's like, look, you need to kick above the water. Like he said he had his feet under the water. Like you can't, whatever. So yeah, he's doing that. And, and it's just like so silly. You know what I mean? He looks dumb. Anyway, they having fun at the pool. So um, her and Mandisi is talking about how, you know, they really had a nice time the night before. The next thing is, and y'all, this video might be a little bit long. So if y'all could just bear with me because this is a really good episode. And it really gets to um, what the couples need to do at the end. Why they are here in the first place, um, what they can fix, and what they need to do to release um, some bad feelings. So each couple basically is meeting up with AJ to uh, discuss um, the terms of a new contract of their relationship. You know, so it's really interesting to see um, Yandy and Mendeecees. They are the first couple. So they're sitting there, they're talking, and they're like, yeah, things have been improving with us. You know, um, Yandy's like, yeah, he's been more attentive, you know, to the things that I need and the things that I want. I really don't have no complaints. So then Mendeecees, you know, he goes in to tell the story where, you know, they basically were out and he was holding the door. So then he keeps saying, you know, I'm here, I'm holding the door, I'm holding the door. They were at some type of like function. So they were about to leave and he's still holding the door for a long time. And so he kind of had a problem with that. And he was like, you know, I'm here. Don't forget about me. I'm holding the door. Like it was just over exaggerated. It was a bit much because he was saying, you know, a 10 minute goodbye when they're trying to leave could turn into an hour goodbye. You know, and he was basically, I'm here. Don't take advantage of me. Like, Bitch, come on. And he was like, he could have waited in the car, but he still wanted to be there for her and staying there, you know? And I just saw it as, and, you know, AJ, the therapist, saw it as, you know, are you getting a little bit uncomfortable with her status now? Because AJ asked her, she was like, has her status grown? You know, her popularity, everything, the business has grown since you've been incarcerated. And he was like, yeah, you know? And she was like, well, basically, you probably, basically, she told him, you probably have a problem with that. You know what I mean? And you need to let it go. And, you know, he just got all pissed off. And he was like, you know what? This is stupid. This is dumb. And I think that, you know, you're wrong. Like, you're absolutely wrong. And that's not what it is, you know? And I don't have a problem. So, yeah, this is dumb. And this is stupid. And he just like gets up and walks off. And when he gets up and walks off, y'all, and I didn't see this until the second time that I did view the episode. And he basically, and I'm gonna put a picture up. He basically tapped her like, let's go, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And that was for me kind of controlling. You know, I was just like, damn, how you just gonna tap you and be like, you know, let's go. Like, I mean, you got my bitch. I didn't. And I just thought that was kind of, you know, controlling, like I said, and like dumb, immature and stupid. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck do you think you are? Anyways, I'm sitting up here trying to figure out what we're going to do. You know, we're telling her our gripes and you're not even trying to work it out. You just want to be tapping me and let's go, bitch, like you're done. You know, so Yandy gets up and she leaves out with him. So Yandy um, basically manages to make him come back. You know, she talks to him. It takes 15 minutes, you know, for him to come back. So AJ, I was just like, damn, like... 
the advice that she gave, it wasn't good. You know, she was basically trying to like get on Mendeecee's good side. She was trying to like slow fuck him or something, you know, to make him feel like, you know, well, he's not wrong. You know, you both are wrong. And I could just see Yandy's face. It was like kind of like fucked up. Like, no, like, damn, now we turn this on both of us. Like, I hate when people do that. Let's handle what the issue is. The two of you, you know, you just have to work to it. No, let's get to the issue of the problem. Like, why are you doing that? You know, you're not saying exactly what it is. And what she basically was doing was trying to get on the good side of him so he wouldn't, you know, throw a bitch fit again. You know, and I just felt like, you know, this is some bullshit. And this is why probably people don't go to counseling because they human just like us, y'all. I'm not against counseling or whatever, but sometimes people be taking sides or sometimes people don't be really trying to, like, make shit really come out in the open. I just feel like sometimes they don't be trying to bring up, not bring up, but, like, just touch on certain things because maybe somebody will get angry and not want to come or maybe somebody will not understand into what somebody is saying so they see that in the beginning and just like don't even touch on it like it's just i don't know um therapy can be kind of tricky y'all Anyway, girl, that was kind of deep. But yeah, that's just how I feel about therapy. So this is basically y'all when Yandy says she feels like if she gets too big, then he thinks that she'll leave him. And he was like, absolutely not. That's another thing. He, he kept on saying like, absolutely not, absolutely not. Like that's believable, bitch. You know, I hate that too, y'all. The truth is right there. Everybody can see. Everybody can read the room and see that you are totally uncomfortable. The truth has been told. You know, everybody, like you don't even read the room to see what the fuck is going on because AJ and Yandy was looking at you like are you fucking serious you know like you're wrong right now and you're not even saying it and not wanting to even deal with it but he didn't even see how you know what what did he think we were stupid like we didn't see that what AJ said was the truth and the fact that you just tried to blatantly deny it and it is what the fuck it is her fame basically gets to you and you feel threatened that's what it seems like you know he just comes off to me as that anyway before I couldn't figure it out but when this issue arose I was like damn that's what it is like I could totally see it then like I don't even know what I was thinking I'm a hard thinker and I see a lot of shit you know so when she said that and she brought that up and he was getting in his feelings about that I was like damn that's what it is man DC has the ability to be a bitch ass nigga. that's what it is and that's what it's called you know and I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit it is what it is Y'all, anyway, moving so She on. basically was telling them, you know, y'all both, <laughs> honey, need to have more consideration, you know, more patience, more understanding. That's what she basically was saying to both of them after he threw a hissy fit, girl, okay? On that, like, she didn't even, like, touch on, you know, the fact that, no, what are you going to do about, you know, basically hating on your wife? I mean, I don't know no other way to say it, y'all. I mean, it is what it is. That's what it seemed like to me. I do know that he loves Jandy. I follow them. They seem like they're very in love, in touch with each other and everything. But that has nothing to do with the fact that you're uncomfortable at somebody's status. You know, and that's just the fuck it, and that's how I feel. The next couple is Ray J and Princess Girl. So Princess basically asks Ray J, you know, why do you love me? They sit on the couch, and they just, like, look like they just, like, kicking a bobo. You know what I mean? In the hotel. And it does seem, again, like she's trying to nitpick at shit. You know what I mean? I wasn't mad at her this time because, bitch, we sitting here. You know, let's talk, bitch. Let's kick the bobo. So what's going on, honey? Why do you love me? You know, even though the cameras was on, I was like, damn, that is a little bit of shade. You know, but whatever. Like, why do you love me? That's what she asked them. So he was like, and I was curious to know why, you know what I mean? Because that's sometimes people don't even know why they just think they love somebody. So he was like, because you're the sacred wife, you know, you are the mother of my child, bitch. That's not a good answer. You know, figure something else out because that's dumb. Like that's not sufficient. And you're in love with me because of who I am, how I treat you. You know, you miss me in the daytime when I'm not around. You know, you just love how I cook and clean. You love how I um, watch after you and all your needs. Like something other than the fact that I'm your fucking kid's mother. Like that is fucked up that you would just say that. And I was like, wow, was that a read, you know, to Princess? Did he like really like throw some shade? Or was he serious? Because you cannot be really serious answering that as a grown man from a husband to a wife. Like, I was just like, I think you need to be giving a motherfucker way more than that than telling them just because you're the mother of their kids. 
That's crazy because on top of that, that just has something to do with the kids, not how I treat you and how we treat each other. And you know, any personal qualities of me, like that just doesn't say that. And yeah, AJ dropped the ball in that. So then y'all, Princess is kind of upset, you know, about the fact that that's all you give a bitch. Like that's all you can give me because I'm your child's mother. And so they just start arguing about who called who a bitch first. Like they goes hard, y'all. When AJ and Princess get to arguing, y'all, they goes in, honey, and let have girl yes they do they don't hold nothing back like they started arguing um they were saying how no you call me a bitch first no you call me a bitch you didn't call me several bitches since we've been on this trip damn like what the hell is really going on so then she was like well you know um i'd rather be called a bitch than you hanging out with prostitutes and, and side chicks all weekend what AJ looks so dumb. I mean, they could have edited it, but I was just like, damn. Like, that is too damn much. And I don't even know what Princess gets old taking some bullshit like that because she's too pretty and too smart. You know, and she's too pretty, too smart to be going through that. And baby, we got a motherfucking problem. I don't know how the hell people keep up relationships like this, but you ain't going to be telling me, go to a hole. Like, go to a hole? Like, I'm some type of rat, some type of animal, some type of nasty-ass-looking possum out here or something? Oh, no, we not doing that, honey. We not doing that. And I don't even know how a relationship can keep shit like this going on. And then you come back in each other's face. You come back together and be like, I love you, kissing and hugging, fucking and all this stuff. Where does it simmer down? Because I would never get to simmer down in my head. But, bitch, you told me what you said. What? That, me and my husband don't even cuss at each other. You know what I'm saying? He said that a long time ago, baby. You know what? Well, I don't care how mad you get. Please don't cuss at me. And I said, dang, okay. I won't be doing that. And y'all, if y'all notice, I do have a sale amount. But my husband said, no, we not. I really don't like when people cuss at me. And I said, okay, well, and that was a rule that he made up. And it was a wonderful rule. I think if you cut cussing out to each other, because essentially you're cussing a motherfucker out. You know, you will be able to have those conversations, grown-up conversations, and get out exactly verbatim what you need to say. Instead of using cuss words, trying to hurt each other, she, he was like, they got it too with y'all. She was like, um, with that ugly-ass shirt on. <laughs> okay, y'all taking digs on each other, bitch. Fuck you, man. I take pride in when I put some clothes on, honey. You hear me? I take pride in how I look when I go out the door. And you gonna tell me that I got an ugly ass shirt on? Yes, she said that shit to AJ. I really ain't see what was ugly about it. It was just like a striped shirt. You know, he had a little cute D&G um, belt on or whatever, some jeans. He looked like, I just was just like, damn, was she taking a dig just to fuck with him? Because I didn't see what was personally wrong with the shirt, but whatever. Yeah, they be doing that type of shit. And so I was just like, damn, that is really a toxic relationship when you can treat each other that way and get on those type of levels i just think that that is unhealthy and i don't know how long that would last i did hear a podcast of tammy roman she did an interview with ray J, and i was so curious to see y'all if him and princess were still together and they are and i'm so glad y'all but um yeah aj said he admit like i'm not lying to y'all about anything that i'm saying to y'all this is all in the episodes and the fact that he admitted some of the shit that he was doing on the show he was like basically you no know, people uh was ripping his ass apart like they was going on him they was dragging him you know about all of the things that they had seen on couples retreat and just things that they heard in the media regardless you know so he was saying damn at first he was fighting the type that type of shit but then he was like damn he started really looking at the comments and saying damn because people was mad you know and he was saying damn you know i probably really am wrong and i need to step up and he was like their relationship is much better now this is not a couples retreat this was actually yesterday I saw this with Tammy Roman. She has her own podcast and she was based. Oh, no, it's not her own podcast. It was Fox Soul. And he was basically saying to her, you know, their relationship has evolved because he listens. He tries to understand. They don't take it to those type of heights anymore in the relationship. And he tries to see where he's wrong. And she does the same. So I'm very hopeful for them. And I'm glad that I heard that yesterday because yes, it is like, you know, exciting to see somebody off in it and, you know, going through it and make you feel like, you know, your shit ain't that bad. And, you know, all these negative things that, you know, you go through when you see something. But at the end of the day, you want people to have love and you want their relationship to work. Well, I do personally, you know what I mean? And I know that Princess really loves her husband, and he really loves her. She basically um called him retarded. Because what it is is that Ray J don't like, you know, name calling. So he was like, see, you starting out again. She looked so satisfied, y'all, when she called him retarded. You know, he looks so disheveled and pissed off like she really knows how to get under his skin. And it was hilarious 
to watch. Princess was so satisfied in this moment, it made him so freaking pissed. And then at the same time, when she's sitting there satisfied, I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, it's the only thing that she has. It's the only thing that she has to fight back from you not coming in, you know, days and weeks on end. It's the only thing that she has. So if she cusses you or if she calls you a name outside of your curve or she say that you're acting retarded or you're acting like a bitch or you're acting a certain way, then it is what it is. But do you understand what she's taking, how she's feeling when you're not there, when you're not coming in the house? She don't even know who you're with, who you're fucking, who you're sucking, like none of that stuff and how she feels. Do you? I wonder that too. You know what I mean? Oh, niggas, you know, all bitches if this is what you don't. I wonder if they put themselves in the other person's shoes. Because how dare you get mad because somebody is getting mad at you because you're wrong. Like, who does that? Are you fucking slow? Who does that? Are you slow? Do you think I'm slow? Were well, you gonna use reverse psychology on me? Well, I'm just not gonna get it. Or I don't see what you're doing. Like, I'm not retarded. You the one must be retarded if you can't get it. And that's one thing that I do. I always try to put myself in my husband's shoes. That's what you got to do. You say to yourself, you know what, self, girl, how would you feel if somebody did the shit that you did to them? And you know what? Some people, they still not going to feel you on it, even if they try to understand. Because you know what? This shit ain't happened to them. And that's where Linda Briscoe comes in at. Yes, honey. My aunt told me long time ago, girl, if somebody is doing something to you, just do it to their ass. That's all you got to do. And they will feel, girl. They will feel exactly how you feel. Yeah, that's what my aunt told me. Look, long time ago, if somebody is doing something to you, just do it to them. Just do it to them. It's no other way they're going to feel you because people don't understand shit and they don't give a flying fuck. You know what I mean? People are all for themselves. They're selfish. They're self-absorbed. And they don't care. When you do what they did to you, you will be better. And guess what else? You will be satisfied. You know? So you got to use that advice at your discretion. Y'all, I've been having problems with my phone. So, um, yeah. Let's try this again. So, Rashid and Kirk is with AJ. And they're coming up with some solutions for their issues. Kirk is telling um, AJ that, you know, Rashid is still bringing up the past. You know, the fact that he had a baby on her. And, you know, it's just humiliating. Um, Rashida says, you know, I did try to not um, bring it up, but it's hard, you know, and I feel like it's normal. So, you know, with that, I just feel like Rashida is right. And, you know, how are you supposed to not bring up that? But she says she will try, you know. So that's all you can really ask for with that. So I was glad that she said she's going to continue to try. She said to make it work because she said that if she was going to accept everything that came along with what he did, then she would be able to um, go ahead and stop, you know, bringing up the past and throwing it in his face. So that's basically something that um, I think that they can work out. And yeah, I think Rashid and Kirk has a um, strong relationship where they can work anything out at this point. So I'm not really afraid for them. I think that they are going to be in it for the long haul and do everything that they need to do to work their relationship out. The next couple is Rada and Michael. So Rada and Michael um, haven't even told Ray J that she's pregnant. So she's shocked. You know, her mouth is wide open when they tell her, you know, Rada's pregnant. So um, AJ is like, you know, so what are we going to do? You know, y'all got a baby in the mix now and y'all need to, um, you know, figure it out and do some other stuff because this is not going to work. And so um, Michael is just like, yeah, well, I think I can go from down to three to two to one, you know, and Rada was like, nah, like, I think that we should be able to get married and like do it every now and then. Maybe, you know, have a threesome, foursome, whatever they be doing, maybe two times out the year. Two times out the year? Y'all should have seen Michael face when she said that like he was done, girl. And I was just like, that's not going to work. He even said it. No, I have to wing them off three to two to one. Same thing I said in the last video. Like, that's what needs to happen. And he basically was like, you know, that's, I don't know if that's, you know, something that I can do. Because, you know, that's a big difference from what they've been doing. Like, that's not even fathomable. Like, we, that's, I don't think that that's going to happen. Like, just two times out of one year, like she wanted him to get married two times in one year. He got to take baby steps 
I told y'all that before, that's not gonna work. Then Michael like, look, I don't really wanna go back to lying and cheating and making promises that I can't keep, you know? This is why I told her, and he just saying that again, like, that's just not, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I think that I can cut some down. She actually watched him on FaceTime with a girl, like, and he was basically saying that that's like a form of control, like Rada likes control. But I was just like, to me, like, damn, how could you watch your man? I could never watch my man have relations with another girl and then like uh, some people they they can take a lot you know i just don't know how you can love somebody and do something like that but to each his own girl and that's what y'all i saw them too on ig they was on ig both of them and um this girl she was like really thick like her ass was huge johnny and he was talking to her and like you could totally see it was a sexual thing because her ass her back was to the um camera and her ass was just like right there huge and Rod was right there she didn't give a fuck i ain't even you know care to even listen in on i was just like wow they're still together and i guess they're doing fine so we'll see so aj gave um Rod some advice she was like look you are basically lucky that he's not lying to you. And if you feel like you can't take it in the end and, you know, he's just not going to change, then you need to figure something else out and do the best for what you need to do for you. You know, and I was glad that she said that because you don't have to sit there and take that, Robin. If he decides that he wants to keep doing everybody else and you, then you can leave. Like, you don't have to stay, you know. He's not the end-all, be-all. Nobody is, you know, especially when you are not getting what you need to get out of the relationship. And I just think that if he continues to do the same thing, Robin can do better. It's not that serious. Anybody can. Moving on, girl. Okay, so y'all, next is Yandy and the couples. So Yandy has the couples to meet up at this really pretty table. It's outside. It's kind of cool. I can see that everybody kind of hunched over, especially Ray J, girl. You know, doing the fucking most. Uh, we'll get into that. But anyway, um, yeah, so everybody's there and it's the last day. And they're going to have a nice dinner, you know. They have some balloons there or something. And they're going to release certain things that have been weighing their relationship down. And they're supposed to write what's been weighing their relationship down, whether it's pain, hurt, all this other stuff. So they just, the couples, they make it up themselves and they release these balloons. So everybody is sitting at the table and um, it's kind of weird. So what I noticed in this part at the table was Princess and Ray J. Very uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. Ray J is sitting there and he's basically like not even trying to make eye contact with Princess, like a child, you know, and she's sitting there. She's looking so pretty. She's looking very uh, desperate, very vulnerable, wanting her husband, you know, and she's wanting to make eye contact with him and he just won't do it. That's They could have edited it, but that's what it looked like to me. And that's just probably what the fuck it was. You know what I mean? So I just noticed that, you know, and so Rada and Michael, they decided to let everybody know that Rada's pregnant. And so everybody's clapping and happy and the guys are patting him on his back and they're just really glad for them, you know, and smiling everywhere and everything else. And Rada just is like, look, I was very scared at first, but now I'm excited. But in the meantime, y'all, Ray J gets up. So girl, he goes over to this like a fire pit, sit down type of fire pit where you get warm and everything. Y'all seen that if you go to a really nice hotel. We went to a really nice hotel in Virginia um, a couple months back and they had a nice fire pit that you sit right at, you know, when it's cold outside. So, you know, they had that. He was sitting there, you know, and he was um smoking a cigarette and everything and just acting like he's just so damn cold, girl. He decides to say in his confessional, I mean, am I going to sit there and just cheese and act like nothing is wrong? Girl, sit there and cheese and act like nothing is wrong. Uh, yes, that's what the fuck adults do, okay? It's called discretion, honey. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to just be in public and have a whole attitude with your significant other. Like, where does they do that at? And on top of that, like... People gonna be looking at y'all, ask the question, y'all all right, you all right, what's wrong with you? What's... And you have got to answer, like me personally, if somebody put me on the spot like that and you wanna be mad out in the street and I decide to be like you and be mad out in the street and somebody asks me, bitch, I'ma tell you. So you don't wanna be out in the street and you mad at me and I'm mad at you because that's just the type of person I am. Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat you. If you wanna go there, like, or we can just act like normal adults and not tell everybody our business and keep your face together, keep your body disposition together, and keep yourself intact. I'm going to act accordingly. You hear me? I'm going to act as if nothing is wrong and just go with the flow. Like, you don't let everybody in your business. And I don't understand why he doesn't have that concept. Like, he is really sitting there pouting and everybody can see it. 
you know? And yes, it's not about what everybody is, but it kind of like it is. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. It is because you are supposed, you're not supposed to be acting like an infant and kicking and screaming out in the street because that's basically what you do. If you don't know how to control your emotions, you know, you don't know how to take your wife's hand or have a small talk conversation. Be short a little bit, you know, if you may, or like try to give her something in front of everybody to spare her from everybody asking her all types of shit and questions and what the fuck is wrong with y'all, what is going on. I just, I don't understand that and how he doesn't get the concept of that. But he really looked dead in the camera and was like, you know, oh, well, what am I supposed to be cheesing? You know, just because we're here. Yeah. You do that shit on the red carpet, don't you? When you go on the red carpet, you know better. You know damn well you're not supposed to be doing that. When you on the red carpet and and, and Prince's right there and y'all holding hands, you're going to fake the funk. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, all oh, that girl, you're going to give it up, but you're not going to be like, oh, I'm cold. Yeah, I'm cold. You know, it just learn how to act let's be adults you know there's a time and a place for everything honey and obviously you don't know that dandy even asked ray j ray j you coming over you know uh because at this point you know everybody is getting up to do the balloons to have the balloons go up in the air you know so they can release all the bad stuff in their relationship and she's like well um aj are you coming over and he like i'm cold i'm cold and she like, oh, you cold, bitch. Why would you even want a bitch to pacify you in that way? Oh, you cold, girl. I, that shit was sick. And I was like, oh, my God. I cannot even believe he's giving that, honey. Like, you're giving all of that? Like, you really gonna say, I'm cold. Like a bitch. You're not gonna stand up like a man and be like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm all right. Or, yeah, I be over there. You know, and, and be by her side. You know, I'm cold. Anyway, y'all, piss me the fuck off. Um, princess had the nerve to walk her ass over there and be like, look, um, you know, I'm tired of doing these exercises by myself. And if you could just finish out, um, cause we're almost at the end and that would be good. But if you don't care about me, then oh well. And she holding out the damn balloon. And then he's sitting there acting like he got to think about it. That's what the fuck like that. You know what? Kiss my ass. Okay, nigga. And second of all, Fuck this shit. Like, you dumb. I cannot do that. Ray J be doing the most, girl. So he was sitting there, and he was like, um, he gonna wait. Like, he's thinking about it, honey. He's thinking about it, girl. And so then she, like, waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm gonna put a picture up, y'all. She waiting. And then all of a sudden, he decides to get his ass up and start walking off. Then he gonna fix himself, you know, like he's some type of pimp over there. Gonna grab her hand and walk over there like he doing something. Nigga, you look like a bitch. You was sitting over in the corner crying because you was mad at your girl and she was mad at you. And then when she came over and said, are you okay? You was like, yeah, I'm okay. And, and, and I'm glad you came over because I was mad. And then you got up and you took her hand and you're acting like the bitch. She's the one who's treating you like the nigga. You need to grow the fuck up. I mean, I saw the podcast, like I said, with Tammy Roman, and he said it is better, and I hope it is because, you know, I don't know how she can take him doing bitch-ass shit like that and then conform it to what he wants. Like, we all know, ladies, that's how it's supposed to be on the other side. The man's supposed to come get you when you're upset, especially if you didn't do too much, bitch. You don't need to come nowhere if you gave too much. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all are on a respectable level and, you know, you feel like you was right, he needs to get over it and just move on and y'all just, like, you know, act accordingly. But no man, no woman is supposed to be going over there to no man as if he was right. And then he acting like he don't know if he going to get up. Bitch, fuck you and your mother. Like, for real. Like, ugh, we don't even have to do this. People, everybody has somebody that they can be with. And they're for each other. I can't see no other person taking what Ray J had to offer because he actually wanted her to come to him when he's wrong. Bitch, and you're not having me come to you when you sit up there not coming in the house for weeks on end. Like, where do they do that at? And I don't have to take this shit. You know, so Princess did that and I was just like, wow, whatever. So anyway, y'all, um, yeah, he got up and went over there. And so now everybody is basically writing on the balloon what they want to release into the air so that they can just get rid of all this bad energy and have a better relationship. So Yandy and Mendeecees, um, say the past. They just want to get rid of the past, you know, of the incarceration, how she felt when she was trying to keep it together. Um, and how basically y'all remember how he was saying she ain't called. She was saying she did, you know, he just wanted more. She didn't get what he wanted all the way. Um, Mendeecees said a fresh start. 
Kirk was like judgment and blame. He wanted to let the judgment and blame just go to rest. Because I think Kirk at this point with the baby on the side of the head on Rashida, it's just like, you know what? I'm tired of feeling judged by the public. You know, I'm tired of having the blame on me about what I've done. And I'm sorry, you know, and I genuinely think that Kirk is tired and sorry all in one. Rashida's like she wants to work on each other, you know, just better in their whole relationship, not bringing up stuff from the past, loving on each other, getting away more vacations and everything else just to be with her husband. And I think she really appreciates spending time with her husband. So kudos to them. You know, I really want them to uh, work it out. Rod says fear, you know, and it's fear that he's not going to let these bitches go. And he makes a um, funny comment. He says that she letting the balloon up and then he was like, he wants to release some side bitches, you know? So everybody thought that was funny and cute. And I did too. Rod says one day at a time, I guess, when he say that, like he make jokes all the time and she knows that there's a serious side to him, but she also knows that it's going to be hell trying to get him to release these bitches. Delicious and Raymond, they want to get rid of public opinions. I guess, you know, they're in the limelight a lot because of what he went through when he was younger and then who she is. So I think that people judge them on um, who they are. And I think that that hinders and messes up their relationship a little bit because of the public and what we say about them, what we think. So I think that, um, yeah, like she said, she just wants to release that. Ray J says, he, he writes pain, girl. He writes pain on the balloon. Okay, girl. So then, okay, once again, Princess is stroking his ego. She said, oh, yeah, I, I wrote pain and hurt, too. I agree with um, Ray J because, you know, it's some of both in the relationship. And I would like to release that as well. Girl, okay. I was just like. So, y'all, that is all for this video. I had a lot of fun doing these episodes. Um, usually seasons are longer than six episodes, but maybe because this was a retreat, it's uh, shorter, but y'all, I cannot wait for Potomac Housewives. So y'all, I will be reviewing Housewives of Potomac and I can't wait. It's either July 7th or 11th. So y'all just make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you will get a notification every time my videos post because you do not want to miss those videos when they start coming out because they're going to be epic. Okay. I love the Potomac Housewives. So yeah, that is all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.